Hello, my name is Steve Goodwin, and my goal is to find the best performing anchors in the world. Now, four years ago, I tested a 45-pound Mantis M1 anchor, and in those underwater video tests, I proved that that anchor set faster and more reliably than any other anchor in my inventory and perhaps the world. And I think that stands to this day. I've tested many more anchors since then, and it's still the top, top speed and top performing resetting anchor. That said, my benchtop review of that anchor was a little more critical. Uh, I took some measurements and kind of went on and on about how the scantlings and the sizes of some of the components were uh, quite, a bit, quite a bit less than, than most of the other anchors in that size range. Now, I don't have access to that anchor anymore and Mantis Anchors knows that, so very recently they just sent me a new copy of that anchor. So this is a 2020 45 pound Mantis M1 anchor, and the Mantis people have not been resting. They have made some improvements to this anchor. They're, they're not large changes, but I think their effect is substantial. So in this video, we're gonna look at those changes and uh, conduct a pretty thorough bench top review of the anchor. So let's start by looking at the most obvious change and that is the Mantis people have changed the shape of their shank. In the old 2015 anchor this line here it continued dead straight all the way back to about this point and then went down and what that resulted in functionally is that the anchor would not self-launch. Uh, I would have to push with my foot or my hand to initiate the launching of the anchor from the bow roller. Now I can report that this anchor launches immediately with no help. You let the chain go and off she flies. So in conjunction with that change of shape, the Manus people have also increased the amount of metal. And if you remember from the old 2015 anchor, this dimension was only three inches. They've upped it. We've now got three and three quarters inches of metal. This is still not the strongest shank in the world, but to my eye, it no longer looks, and I quote myself, I said it looked spindly in the past. To me, it now looks right. It just, it just proportioned correctly. So that's number two. Improvement number two, shank looks strong to my eye. Next change is the weight. If you remember from the old anchor, on my scale, the advertised as 45 pound anchor only weighed 40 pounds and you know, there's some manufacturing tolerance, I suppose, to account for some of that, but to me, they, you know, they just weren't giving you quite your money's worth. Well, I can now report that this anchor weighs 43 pounds, and now that is well within an expected manufacturing tolerance. So, improvement number three, the anchor's heavier, you're, you're, you're getting your money's worth, you're buying 45 pounds, and you're getting real close to it. Next change is the shape of the toe doubler. Now, when I say toe doubler, this, this fluke has got a, a plate thickness of X, and then along here in the flute, in the toe area, it's double that. I'm not quite sure how they achieve it, but what I believe they do is they just simply double up the metal. Now, the old anchor, the, the edge of that doubler, or doubled area, was straight, and that creates a stress riser. This is kind of engineering 101. It's kind of a no-no. And indeed, there is at least one image online of a bent mantis toe. Uh, what had happened is the toe became caught under a heavy ledge of rock, maybe an old mooring, and the operator of the boat just picked up on it with a very heavy, heavy-duty windlass, and it bent that toe right straight down like that. And when that happened, it basically ripped the metal. The, the, the strength was all pretty much going to be focused on this sort of turned up edge of the fluke and it it just focused all the energy right there and it 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 did tear. Now this this new design is far better. It's scalloped, so we're transferring the load over a greater area or the stress and it because this point travels up farther, there's actually more height to the bent up portion of the fluke. So it is it's just altogether a better design. It is, it is no doubt stronger, and it, it doesn't violate that stress riser rule. 
So that's that's improvement number four, and that, that may be the most significant of all of them. Next change is just a simple manufacturing detail. Uh, the edges of the old plate was were much more square, as if it was just cut out, and I don't know if it's water cut, laser cut, or plasma cut, but it was just more of a square. That They've now taken the time to chamfer or radius pretty much all the edges. They're all just nicely, nicely rounded. And one obvious functional improvement is that the galvanizing, it won't be as likely to get chipped away. If you've got a coating that's on a sharp corner and then you impact that corner with a rock or something hard, it's just gonna readily chip away anything you have on top of that metal. So that's a, that's a nice touch. I like it. Uh, chamfered edges, improvement number five. The last improvement's pretty trivial, but I'll mention it anyway. Um, when my old anchor was shipped to me, and it was brand new from Mantis, the there was two or four of the bolts were too short. Uh, there just there just wasn't enough bolts sticking up through the the nut, so I, I it was easy to fix. I just went to a hardware store and bought new bolts. But I can report that the the bolts that came with this 2020 Mantis anchor. All the correct length, all looked fine, all worked well. So that's the last improvement that I could see. That was number six. I have not spoken or communicated with Mantis about any of these changes or any 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 other changes. So there may be others that I'm not aware of, but just from my benchtop review, that's what I come up with. I can report that there was no change to the Mantis's absolutely fantastic tip to total weight ratio. And that's the ratio of the weight on the tip in the setting position to the total weight of the anchor. Uh, the, the, the old anchor was, was a 50% ratio and so is this anchor, still 50%. And that is by far the highest tip to total weight ratio of any anchor that I've tested or am aware of. So that's all I got for the bench top portion of this anchor test. Uh, I have actually had this anchor in the water already. I tested it at the new cobblestone seabed and I will feature it in the up and coming 19 anchor cobblestone sort of shootout. All right, thanks again to all the people who have donated to my Patreon or PayPal accounts. Links are da to both of those are down in the, des in the description. I should also thank anchor manufacturers. If it wasn't for all the anchors that had been donated to me directly by the manufacturers, this, this all would not be possible. And I, I think they should also be commended for, for sort of having enough faith in me to test their products. I'm just some guy and they don't know who I am. It would be very easy for me to, well, I could falsify information. I could say anything I want. But in any event, I appreciate that they have faith in me. They send me examples of their products uh, with no strings attached, and I test them. All right, that's all for now. As always, anchor safely and so long.